Hello, my name is David Yakos, and I'd like to introduce to you the Maker Studio. To do so, I must first tell you a little bit of a backstory of who I am and how I became that person. I'm co-owner of a product design firm called Salient Technologies, where we've developed thousands of products, everything from valves for NASA to wheelchairs for kids. We've even developed the prototype of the year for popular science. How did I become that person, that engineer, the inventor, designer, artist? When I was about five years old, my mom recognized a, a passion for creativity, for building, the inventive. She took a cardboard box from a dryer and cut it down and filled it with everything imaginable, everything from empty macaroni and cheese boxes to empty shampoo bottles, toilet paper tubes, egg cartons, popsicle sticks, you name it. And there in the living room, I had David's creative corner. I had the chance to invent, create anything I wanted at any moment. So launching out of the ever-growing maker culture, here's the next generation of creative toys. I call it Maker Studio. Maker Studio is a kit of wheels, gears, hubs, axles, and motors that enables kids to create just about anything unlimited by their creativity. Each kit would come with the necessary components to make a race car, a paddle boat, a, a cable car, a train, a tank, really just about any kind of machine. The one thing that would be missing would be the body or the fuselage, unless you wanted to use the package it came in, of course. We would encourage kids to adapt and use items from around the house. There would be instructions how to create the first design and then encourage them to think beyond and continue creating. The combination of kits would yield bigger and greater machines. For example, a race car kit combined with the components of a paddle boat kit may yield the necessary parts to make a walking robot. The Maker Studio encourages community where designers could share their creations with a simple photo app or upload how-to videos on YouTube. The main components are made up of renewable resource wood going back to the elements of design. However, in mass production, the hubs will potentially be injection molded. The keys to this design are linkages with preset hole distances and rubber castle washers that fit the wheels or gears to the axles. Little rubber knobs on the hubs can lock the wheel to the axle. Or you can face the knobs out so the wheel can spin freely. Also, with the rising popularity and affordability of 3D printing, the adaptation and addition of new parts will soon follow. This is Maker Studio, and this is my story. But I'm not alone. Every architect, designer, innovator, engineer, roboticist, world changer, they started here. This is our story. I want to think outside the block, stop teaching kids to be assembly workers, and give them the fun tools that inspire innovation. Welcome to Maker Studio. Thank you.